Well, today I'm going to uh, try to finish this up so I can take it to the foundry on Monday. Um, I am going to uh, work on the uh, pan um, and try to get that uh, redone and uh, get everything else cleaned up as much as I can. I might have to come in Monday morning early to finish up even more if I can't do it. And uh, so let's get busy. It's a short day today and uh, I'll try to get as much done as I can. If you're wondering what kind of tool I'm using, I'm using a elliptic wire tool. It uh, comes with varying heads and you've got a little uh, Allen wrench uh, nut in here that you uh, tighten down on the uh, wire and uh, then you can exchange them for other heads of varying sizes and shapes. And uh, It's a pretty damn good tool. It comes from uh, Sculpture depot.net
I'm using uh, the vein guide here on this uh, resin uh, sculpture or reference material that I've got uh, for the full figure that I've got of the uh, male. And uh, I'm just trying to, uh, I'm not want to put all the veins on the hand, but uh, just a couple to give it a feel of something flowing through his hands, like blood. Now I'm going to make a real thin piece of clay to put over the hand to act as skin. It's a little technique I came up with about 30 years ago, maybe 40, in the basement of my parents' house when I was teaching myself to sculpt. And I'll lay it on top of the hand right there. And then I just rub my nose and I press down on the uh, clay with the hand, part of the thumb that I just rubbed on my nose because what that does, it keeps the clay from sticking to your hand and helps it to lay down a little bit more gently. Now it's just a matter of working it out. This is where these silicone tools really come in handy because it's very gentle. You don't want to have a heavy hand here. take the suspenders off so I can get detail in between the legs here. I can always put that back on. They're going to have to cut it off anyway when they cast it, so just saving them a, a little time there. Alright, I'm going to uh, use a little uh, 
lighter fluid to uh, clean up the clay a little bit and uh, take down some of the roughness of the uh, texturing that I've put on. What I do is I just uh, put a little bit on the, the brush and I've got one of these oil painter brushes kind of a fan thing and uh, it works perfect for this. I don't want to take away the texturing I just want to cut down on it a little bit because nothing worse than real heavy duty anything. Well, that closes out another week, and uh, I'll come back on Monday and work on that pan in the morning, and then hopefully get this to the uh, foundry by that night. If I don't, then I'll take it on Tuesday, but it will get there this next week. Don't ever want to rush something. Have a great weekend, everybody, and happy sculpting. Well, as you've all seen many times before, that's the uh, Madison Mountain Range looking east out of the valley. <coughs> looking towards uh, Yellowstone Park, which is over the mountains. What I'm trying to show you is that we got fresh snow last night up there in those mountains. That was almost gone, and all the snow was almost gone. Now it's uh, covering the top of the mountains. So. It's uh, currently, it's currently about 56 degrees, which is really cool for this time of year. Well, not really. I, we actually have had so cold a weather that you can see your breath right up into July. So it's not unusual for Montana to be cold this time of year. It sure is nice though, because everything's so green.